decade. From the death of John Lennon in 1980 to the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, it was 10 years of intense changes that were often expressed in the music. I'm glad that I started out as a part of that time and that music. Thanks for joining me for all the videos from VH1's Big 80 CD, 15 terrific cuts that were a part of the Big 80s music that made history. I'm Belinda Carlisle, and thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Belinda Carlisle, and we're taking a look at the videos from the songs on VH1's Big 80 CD. Let's dig up that time capsule one last time and travel back to 1984. Did anyone say Big Brother? So what do you remember most from 1984? Was it Reagan's re-election or maybe Prince's Purple Rain? Maybe you caught the Terminator at your local cinema or went to see Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA tour. Who did you call when Ghostbusters came out? Maybe you watched Mary Lou go for the gold or maybe you were listening to the simultaneous broadcast of Do They Know It's Christmas on the radio. Whatever it is, that place is 1984 for you. One of the most memorable tunes of 1984 was a ballad that came out in the spring and seemed to hang around all summer long. Here's Night Ranger with Sister Christian. The band really knew how to lighten things up. That song was a big hit back in 1982, which wasn't the most peaceful year for the world. With wars raging in Lebanon, Iraq, and the Falkland Islands, we needed music to give us a lift. When we come back, we'll hear from a group that took a ballad, gave it a little bit of power, and came up with a hit. The Big 80s, the Big CD, will continue right after this. The group Blondie was one of the most influential groups of the Big 80s. They came out of the New York punk scene in the late 70s with Heart of Glass, a surprise disco hit. But combining various musical styles was part of the group's successful appeal. And here's a perfect example. This is Blondie in 1981 with a song that mixes some rap with a moody techno sound. Here's Rapture. The group Dead or Alive mastered one of the innovations of the 80s, the synthesizer. They turned it into an art form. With their hit from 1987, here's Brand New Lover. Hi, I'm Belinda Carlisle, and welcome back to the show with all the videos from VH1's Big 80 CD. We started the decade playing music on vinyl, and we ended up with a compact disc. And in between, there were some great years of innovation and discovery that changed everything. It wasn't until the early 80s when this next band saw their biggest success with their 1981 album, Freeze Frame. The album produced two big 80s hits, and in 1982, this next song went all the way to number one. Here's the Jay Dawes Band in Central Linda Carlisle and welcome back to our look at the video collection of all the great songs you'll find on VH1's Big 80 CD. Where were you when you first heard the words, personal computer? Well, wherever you were, the date was likely sometime in 1982 when Time Magazine named the PC the machine of the year. It was also 1982 when we first heard the phone number 8675309, the hard to forget title of Tommy Tutone's big hit. Two-Tone's career has gone from singer to music teacher, software engineer to dad. But back in 82, Tommy had only one thing on his mind, a girl named Jenny.